What is happening guys? My name is Mike. I want to welcome you back to my channel, Modern Man TV. Today we are going to be taking a look at three different products from a company called Iron Heritage. I have had these products for several weeks. I've been a little backed up in my product reviews lately, but I'm finally glad to get the opportunity to show you this brand because I think they have a lot to offer and I think you'll be very interested to see the three products that I'm going to show you today. Iron Heritage is a handcraft crafted grooming line that comes from Chicago, Illinois. What we're going to be looking at is their Model T oil-based pomade, their flathead water base, and a very unique product of theirs called iron oil. Let's get started. We're going to start today with the Model T hairdressing pomade. On the front we have the Iron Heritage logo and the name Model T. On the back we have the ingredients list and some recommended use instructions. Taking a look inside the jar, the first thing we notice is this glitter that's on the top layer. And scooping it out is actually relatively easy. It doesn't provide a lot of resistance and it breaks down really well in your hand. Now Model T was described to me as a smooth hairdressing with a bold cigar tobacco scent and a slight hint of vanilla that was designed to be a medium hold and I believe a natural shine. This footage was actually shot with buildup or second day hair with this pomade. Now some things I really liked about this pomade was the fact that it's made with vitamin E and avocado oil, which is really good for the scalp and the hair. Now about this glitter. I'm sure all of you are wondering about the glitter. And of course, when I first saw it, I, of course, was like, okay, I'm about to step outside looking like. But it's actually on the top layer. It does not really show up in your hair and styling with the Model T was actually really pleasant. Moving on to the water base. This is the Flathead Water Soluble Pomade. This one actually features a totally different jar than the oil base, but it's also four ounces. I think they did a great job designing this label and really making it clear that it is a totally different product than anything else on their line. It's got the ingredients and of course the recommended usage. Looking inside the jar we can see it's got that typical gel type water based look. It looks black but it's actually clear and it comes out really wet which is something that I like. This water base was described to me as an all day hold and a natural finish so I of course had to put it to the test. What I decided to do for this demonstration was start with damp to dry hair and then I added about two or three scoops of the pomade in there and I noticed it went in super easy, no tug and pull, really great application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by combing my hair and then I'm going to leave it and then we're going to come back to it later in the video to see how much it hardened up and how much we're able to recomb if at all. In the meantime, let's talk about the iron oil. Which, to be honest, is the product from this line that I have been using the most since I got it. This is a multi-purpose hair, skin, and beard product that again comes in its own unique packaging and because it's geared towards nourishment, it scoops out and applies more like a balm. This product pretty much is what I consider to be like a Swiss Army knife. It's got so many uses, but what I've been using it for mostly is to smooth out my skin and my beard, which it does an excellent job of doing. The iron oil was something that was very unique to me. It seemed to be packed full of nourishing properties like vitamin E and coconut oil. It has so many different health benefits, it's really quite remarkable to me. For your skin, for example, it deals with rough or dry skin if you have that anywhere on your body, not just your scalp or your face. It 
can help your hands, elbows, knees, wherever you have dry skin. For your hair, obviously, it can be used as a hair treatment or scalp treatment if you have dry scalp, but what's also cool is it can be used as a topper for added shine with their other pomades. And then for your beard, it can help shape and nourish longer beards. It can help soften shorter beards like mine. And then for people that like to shave, this is an excellent pre-shave. And of course, on top of that, it's moisturizing your skin. Now let's check back in with how my hair is doing with the water base. As you can see here, it's hardened up completely, which is both a good and bad thing. The good thing is my hair is not going anywhere. But the bad thing is I'm not restyling at all without any water. Overall, I really enjoyed using this line and the products from this line, and I was really glad to get the chance to do it. The only negatives that I found with this line and the products that I tested had to do with little things like hold and fragrances. The oil-based fragrance, for example, wasn't necessarily my favorite. I'm not gonna say I hated it, uh, but it just wasn't my cup of tea, but I do know a lot of people that do really like that, that type of scent, so I'm not going to say it's a bad scent. It just wasn't particularly for me. The product itself held up pretty well I did notice that it tended to soften up a little bit throughout the day, but as you could see, the buildup was solid. The flathead water base definitely has its ups and downs as well. The ups are definitely the scent. I love the scent. It's like this cologne, orange zest, spicy aroma. The only issue that I had is after it's locked in place, the only way to restyle that I could find really was to add water. And if you didn't do it very carefully, you actually wash some of the product out of your hair. Therefore, it kind of became useless. But for a gel type it, that you just want to set and forget, it definitely gets the job done. If you'd like to check out Iron Heritage, I will put the info to their website in the description down below. I want to thank the guys from Iron Heritage for not only sending me the products to test, but being so patient with me as I took forever to make this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That really helps me out. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video and the products that I showcased here today. I'll be back with you guys at the end of the week with another video. So until then, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.